So uh, today I have the pleasure to invite Dr. Sonit Deshpande. Uh, he got uh, score 288 in NEET uh, SS and uh, in the urology field, which is a very difficult field. And we all know that uh, lots of people, they prepare for urology and exam. And he got the score of 288 and he got a rank of 50 in our NEET super specialty and uh, exam for MCH. So welcome, Sonit. And Thank you. Thank you. RTS congratulations for a, a brilliant score and an awesome rank you got in the exam. Okay, so, uh, uh, so would you like to share uh, like uh, how, how you are feeling right now getting such a good rank in such a difficult exam? Uh, first of all, thank you for having me. And uh, I have uh, so, sort of this exam was very tough to begin with because of the delays. But uh, your teaching has definitely helped me, sir, revision in terms of, you know, revising the course. And uh, your assistance to my success is also very important to me. So thank you so much for that. Uh, sir, actually in NEET, uh, INISS also, I got a rank of 9. So oh, okay. I have been allotted AIMS Bhopal based on that rank. Okay. And, uh, tough choice to make between uh, choosing Mumbai, uh, which, is, uh, which is the city that I uh, want to do urology in or uh, using Ames Bhopal. So that's a tough choice, but I, I'm happy to have this choice today with me. So yeah. I'm, I, I'm on cloud nine. I'm really happy about it. Okay. So when did you start preparing for this exam as uh, like during your uh, PG days only or uh, after that you thought that, okay, you should prepare? Uh, on To be very honest with you, sir, I was never sure of doing MCH because I had taken uh, MS General Surgery as uh, taking one step at a time, I just wanted to assess how MS Dental Surgery treats uh, me in that sense. And I really love the branch. But then uh, I decided that, you know, I cannot do academics later on. Whatever exams I have to crack must be cracked in the uh, first three years or after just a couple of years after MS. So I started preparing uh, in last year, last to last year, actually. Uh, I had passed my sub. Uh, my MS General Surgery in September 2020. Okay. And uh, three months before that, I decided that I want urology. Okay. That's when I started my preparation. My last year NEET rank was around 450. Okay. So I decided that I will give another attempt. And so the last year I prepared for this exam, sir. So you were working somewhere after along with the preparation or you were just doing the preparation and uh, you were waiting for the exam? Uh, so for first five months of my preparation, I was working in Nair Hospital as a assistant, bonded assistant professor. And then uh, because the exam was nearing, I, I decided that I will uh, just uh, quit my job and prepare uh, for the exam. But then exam got delayed. Yes. Yeah. yes. So how was the course? Did you, did you to revise the things? Because uh, with the working also, the course was like uh, we did not take uh, long duration classes. It was like two or two and a half hours session and that too late at night so that even if you are working, you can, you know, work and after that you can attend the classes. It was a live class, interactive class. So what was your experience uh, regarding these classes which we are, you know, conducting for the NEET SS exams? Uh, yes, sir. My experience, actually, my first uh, class ever was your class. That was my introduction to urology. Uh, so as uh, as I think the course was uh, divided into the previous pattern in which there were basic questions asked and all the uh, questions were combined from all the specialities. And then later on, you changed the course to a revision of Campbell. Uh, so I attended the entire thing. I made my own notes of the entire course. And those were very helpful for revision, uh, a rapid revision. But uh, the first attempt, I did not get enough time uh, with my MS General Surgery Practicals Theory to revise those. But uh, I recently used it for NICT as well. Uh, that material I used for the last month revision. Uh, so I ended up revising note, those notes around three times before the exam in the course. So it was very helpful, sir. So now, you know, now the uh, pattern of the, this exam is going to change. This was the last time they were taking like uh, 40 questions from the general surgery and 60 from the specialty. Now it will be like uh, the whole pattern will be on the general surgery based. Okay. The, yes. the exam. 
So any message you would like to give to, you know, uh, your juniors or the people who are, you know, preparing for these exams that how to go ahead, considering that the pattern is different now for the exam? Uh, so my secret, I believe, uh, uh, would be that I kept myself really uh, happy and uh, positive at all times. Uh, I had a study partner. Uh, he was my senior in Nair Hospital, Dr. Vishal Narkele. He has been allotted Jipmer in this uh, uh, in this year. So we sort of studied the entire material together. We made sure that, you know, what we realized was our concentrating abilities are not as same as uh, what we used to do in postgraduate uh, preparation. So we acknowledge that, that, you know, we are not able to concentrate on our own to the extent that we would like to. So we decided we were not in the same cities. We used to Zoom call each other and read almost everything together. So that explain, that, that helped us, uh, you know, uh, explain things to each other. So that made us realize what we were missing in our knowledge. It made our lives easier because then you don't have to actively keep on concentrating. Uh, it was more, more of passive learning. At the same time, I was teaching some topics to him. He was teaching some topics to me. It always is a double-edged sword where you are a little slow in preparation, but your consistency and duration increases. So that is my success. And the other thing is I uh, enjoy playing tennis. So I made sure that each and every day, at least a couple of hours, I'll be on the tennis court. That helped me uh, calm my nerves, stay positive. And I enjoyed the year that I was given. Uh, I could have looked at it as a repeat year and got frustrated, but I enjoyed it. And I look at it as a blessing. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, this is for all the list all the viewers that uh, you know in dams uh, we have started this resident course for the surgery. Okay, we have already conducted uh, uh, two three sessions on GI surgery on the urology and the uh, general surgery part. Also, we have uh, this uh, neat SS preparation uh, pattern uh, uh, based uh, you know revision pre revision. And this year because it is going to be uh, you know more of the general surgery base. So we are talking mainly about the baby in love and sebastian and a little bit about SHARD. So the important topics from there will be covered. So this is for all the listeners, your juniors, your colleagues also. Okay, that uh, these posts have been introduced in the dams and uh, people are getting good ranks, great uh, achievements that they are getting in their life. Okay, so uh, thank you very much, uh, Swanit, and it was a pleasure talking to you and many, many congratulations and best wishes for your future from the whole dance family. Okay, we'll be in touch. Okay, so anything, uh, we'll be in touch and we'll share uh, our experiences in the clinical field, in the, you know, academics also. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you and many congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you.